Okay. So you've got Easy Copilot installed. It's um, it's fired up. And uh, yeah, what you need to do is tell it where um, voice attacks is installed. So you click on this little cog icon on the top right hand corner of the screen, which will open up the basic settings screen. You literally go down to the voice attack folder location, open this up and then specify the install location of voice attacks. Mine is in the D drive. Yours will probably be on the C drive. Um, once you've done that, you click on OK, then you click on close, and then you shut down voice text. Okay, so you've installed ED Copilot. Um, you've configured it to point to your uh, voice attack install location. Now what you need to do is import the voice attack profile into well the voice attack profile for ED Copilot into voice attack. So first thing you need to do is um, launch voice attack uh, and apply any HCS voice packs that you you may have. I've got um, Orion, Vasco and uh, Ship's Cat currently. I will be getting more. Um, once that's done, uh, select the Singularity profile. Uh, there is another Elite one there, but I would stick with this one for the time being. Click on the plus symbol and import a profile. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Let me just move this around. So you then locate your ED Copilot install scroll to the bottom and you'll see a file called ed copilot hyphen profile dot vap this is the copilot voice attack profile select that click on open and then it should appear as a profile at the top of the list once you've got that there click on or well, uh, make sure you're still in the correct elite profile click on the pen icon or the pencil icon depending on how you view it click on options note locate the section that says include commands from other profiles and then you click you collect or you slip you, you click my god I can't talk you click on the three dots I've already got it set up but you click on plus you'll see in the drop down list ED copilot will be there somewhere you select ED copilot Click on OK and lo and behold it appears there. You click on OK again and now you're basically telling voice attack to also include any spoken commands from the ED Copilot profile. Click OK, uh, click on done and it's done for you. That's, that's all good to go. Okay, you can now close down voice attack. Okay, so you've installed ED Copilot, you've installed voice attacks, you configured ED Copilot so that it knows where to look for the voice attack software, and you told voice attack to import your HCS voice packs if you've got them, and the ED Copilot VAP file. If you're using HCS um, voice packs, which well, I'm guessing if you're watching this video you are, You've also told them to reference the Copilot voice attack profile for its uh, its spoken commands. Great, you've done all that. That's the hard bit done. Now to launch um, Copilot, you first of all launch voice attacks. With voice attacks open, you say open Copilot. This will now go. Th yeah, this will now go through the process of launching ED Copilot. Um, that black screen will go away for a few seconds. Then, after a short while, you should have the Copilot software 
up and running in front of you. You should notice on the voice tech panel that you're getting lots of orange amber entries that to do with co-pilots. Yeah, that's just a, a minor blip, wouldn't worry about that at all. Not a problem. Okay. So once Copilot is uh, fully up and running, you then have the ability to not only use um, your standard HCS, HCS profile commands, but also some commands relating to Copilot, such as places, commodities, um, information, This one always gets it. Information. Faction systems. Okay. Um, that's the cat. Places. information stations okay so as you can see voice attacks is working fine with copilot and that's all there is to it really it's pretty straightforward